it's just the TriCaster Mini HD SDI. Yes. So what is this? So our original TriCaster Mini was only HDMI in and out. Now we've come out with the same form factor with a monitor on the side, all the things that our original Mini has, but it gives you four inputs SDI in and two outputs in full SDI as well. So it's the same thing as our other Mini, just giving you a more professional format. And it's all contained, one easy to use, nice little box, very small footprint, whole thing can fit in a backpack, and you can literally set it up in just a few minutes. And what do you connect to all these uh, USBs? Is it storage? Uh, keyboard, mouse, you could connect external storage if you wanted to as well. Yes. Monitors. You know, your monitors, that sort of stuff. So we're here at the New Tech. So hello, so who are you? My name is Don Valance and I'm the Vice President of Training here at New Tech and we're really pleased to be here at IBC this year. We have a lot of new technology that we're showing off and probably the coolest new thing that we're showing is our brand new IP workflow. And a lot of people are talking about IP workflow, but I think a lot of people are really talking about replacing SDI cables with Ethernet cables. And that's not what we're doing here. We're actually putting all of the video onto the Ether and then any machine that's connected to that same network can see every other machine's inputs and every other machine's outputs. All the video onto the what? Ether? Onto the network, the Ethernet. So like a NAS so system? Or? Just a regular old Ethernet network. It doesn't have to be anything super high power. It's what you have right now. And if you look, when I come over here now and I say that I want to configure an input, I have every input in every device that's on this table. Not just the inputs that are plugged into my device, but I can look at the inputs and the outputs of every device on the table. And everybody else can do that as well. We could all look at the same one at the same time. Is this the first time people are able to do this? Yes. And this with, is going with New Tech or in general? Ever. We, forever. Forever. We are introducing this new protocol called It's a dream people have been having for a long time. That's right. People it's, collaborate. That's right. It's called NDI. It's called the Network Device Interface. And it's an open protocol. And it's free. We're giving it to everyone. Other developers want to develop with it? Here, it's free. Open source, Open source no free. royalty. Absolutely and free. And we developed it. Or together with some open we developed people. it. You did it. We did it. So it's out now? Uh, well, we're showing it now. It'll be out in fourth quarter of this year. All right. So is this this software, is that the, the standard new tech? Is just updated to have? This is the new advanced edition. And the new advanced edition allows us to do a lot of things as well. So uh, this is hooked up to an 860, which is usually an eight input switcher. But look, nine. 10, 11, 12, because now we can bring in those extra network inputs besides the inputs that are physically plugged into the machine. And if you look here, now I've got a secondary switcher button that I can push that brings up all of my buffers, all of the other things that are available here in the switcher. So you have a lot more available in the switcher to you through this new upgrade. And this upgrade is going to be available for all TriCasters that take Advanced Edition and it will include NDI and our advanced IP workflow when this comes out. So anybody who currently has a TriCaster, all they need to do is buy this software upgrade and they get the Ethernet protocol. If they already own Advanced Edition, they'll get it for free. What is the difference between the normal and the advanced edition? Well, just features. A lot more features. I, I mean, I can't describe it all to you. It's all described pretty eloquently, but um, a lot so of... Some small there. TriCaster machines, some bigger ones. Right. So, so how, how, how big is uh, New Tech? And uh, are you... Uh, Who's making these live uh, TV shows? Is there lots of channels all over the world? There are literally tens of thousands of people using TriCasters around the world to create content. There's more video content being put on the internet generated by TriCaster than literally anything else. We are the standard for television style productions to the web. The standard, like all over IBC, nobody's doing such The world. Stuff. We're the, the standard world. in the world. We sell more of these types of switchers for video net for internet video production at a high level than anybody else. There's no doubt about it. And so all these big channels like CNN, BBC, all these guys they 
They use your equipment also? They use our equipment in the field. They use our equipment in their trucks. They may not use it in their studio because they already spent millions of dollars on a bunch of equipment. They're not just going to get rid of it. They're going to get their investment out of it. I don't blame them. But when they see our technology, they go, yeah, we can make a truck with that. Yeah, I can put that on location. I can go here with it. And that's something they can't do with a lot of the other stuff that's out there. I'll give you an example if you follow me yeah. over here. This, no, they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. Ah, over there. Yeah. You can go take that on location in a backpack, set up in a few minutes, and do so, is this the new hardware you're showing here? Uh, yes, the SDI Mini is new hardware. Right. They're I wanted to talk about right. This is just talking about our talk show product, which is our Skype integration product. It allows you to bring in someone via Skype, and then it outputs 1080i in full frame rate, goes right into your regular SDI workflow or our NDI workflow, and allows you to bring in Skype callers from all over the world at very high quality, even if they're calling from their phone. So I've seen uh, lots of podcasts still use Skype for audio, and video is also very stable for all these uh, networks that want to just connect to people quickly and bring them in. Absolutely. So you're the best solution for Skype? Absolutely. Absolutely. So you launched it last year, right? How, uh, how yes. successful has it been? Very, very successful. One of the most successful products that we've ever launched. And people don't believe it when they see it. We showed it at NAB, and people said, you're lying. you got a camera in the back of the booth, and, and you're faking this. That's how good the signal looks when it comes in. Nice. So uh, this is what you're talking about here, live sports. This is all our talk show stuff down here. These are five different talk shows bringing in five different people from around the world. Two of them aren't being used right now, but these three are bringing in. Nice. So, so this is it. And with the internet, with uh, YouTube Live, and with all these these platforms, Twitch and Ustream and all that, there'll be more and more need for this. Absolutely. Everywhere. And we are the standard. And they are looking to us. And they're developing with us. These aren't just people that we work with. These are new tech developer network. They are our developers. They develop stuff specifically to work with our products.